Hi everybody, it's me, Mara, from The Funky Spork. So you may have seen my previous video tutorial where I showed you how to prepare and make some really bomb diggity bomb mushroom Swiss portobello burgers that are out of this world. Well, there's a side dish that came with that and those happen to be really, really tasty Parmesan garlic cauliflower tater tots. <sighs> Me thinking about them right now, I'm already getting hungry and I might even eat this camera. Well, I am super excited to make these, not just because they're made with cauliflower, which I absolutely love, but for this dish, I'm actually going to be using them in my brand new air fryer, which is not sponsored. But I thought it'd be fun to try something new and different. So if you like really tasty, crispy snacks and cauliflower and dishes that have a semi-healthy touch and a twist, then stay tuned and follow me to the kitchen. Here are the ingredients you'll need for your cauliflower tater tots. Two heads of cauliflower, one teaspoon of oil, eggs, a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, salt, and Italian seasoning, or dried oregano and parsley. Coarsely chop the cauliflower into large, chunky pieces. Afterwards, allow the pieces to boil in rolling hot water for about four to five minutes or until tender to the touch. Immediately drain. Once the cauliflower finishes cooking, pulse in the food processor until each of the pieces are roughly the size of grains of rice. Basically cauliflower rice. Afterwards, transfer the mixture into a large bowl. Combine all of the following into the large bowl of cauliflower rice, eggs, Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, oil, and Italian seasonings. Mix until everything is well combined. After mixing, take roughly the size of a tablespoon of cauliflower rice mixture and form it into the shape of a tater tot and place the taters on a surface sizable enough to contain all the pieces, about 30 to 35 pieces. Gently place enough tater tots in the basket and set on 375 degrees for 20 minutes and flip halfway. Finally, enjoy these with some ketchup or just by themselves. Bon appetit.